yo what it be yo it is scorpion reds i am back at it one time for the one time for the month of june 2019 to let you know what's cracking baby what's going on thank you guys so much for clicking this video big hugs and love going out to you baby you feel it hold on you feel it you feel it oh, okay, okay listen I got some announcements, you guys. Um, I have a Patreon now. We're going to be doing a membership thing. So to everyone who's been wanting to book a personal private reading and has not been able to money to afford to, I will be rolling out a video to let you know when I have it all up and running. Hopefully, I'm going to have everything up and cracking by next week. And shout out to everyone who has been giving love and light to the page by love donations. Um, have it be by PayPal because all of those donations from PayPal got this camcorder. All of these decks that you see before, like y'all did this. Thank you so much for all of the love. Y'all are the reason that PayPal is what got them tea leaves. Shout out to my baby girl, Kylie, to my baby girl, Amanda. Um, oh, I'm forgetting everybody. Okay, next time. All the donations, I'm going to have a list so I can shout every, out everyone who has been donating. Because um, we got this numerology deck here. We got the Game of Thrones deck here. We just got the Zen Tarot deck, which I haven't used yet. We're going to get those in the bonus. Make sure that you follow my other page, which is Scorpion Reds Tarot channel. That's my backup page where I'm going to be having bonus videos. But back to the Patreon. The Patreon... We are going to be doing, um, we have two tiers, okay? And the reason how the Patreon came about was what I was trying to tell y'all. is because of this little freaky deaky deck right here, okay? So someone sent this deck in, all right, through the Amazon list, all right? And this deck is a little bit too sexually explicit to be on YouTube, but I don't want my page shut down, okay? So we're going to take the kind of more sexually explicit questions, conversations, and imagery over to patreon and especially so that people can have privacy when we're doing their private readings and stuff like that it's not all out in the public we're in a safe private domain you know what i'm saying where it's a membership only access type of thing anybody just off the street just can't come and see what was said in the private readings so it's a monthly membership so there's a dollar 99 tier with the dollar 99 tier like i said um will you'll get access to the um weekly live readings you see what i'm saying so if you can't afford for a private reading you can get selected during the live chats um we'll also like i said we'll be doing um calling discussions about topics of stuff that's been coming out in the collective readings and things like that if you guys just want to call and talk because i get a lot of emails from you guys that you guys want to talk and chat with me about what's been going on so that's a private way that we can discuss in the, you know what I'm saying, in the members only platform. You guys can call in. Um, I'm going to have a conference number. Where's my, anyway, I have my little conference speaker and stuff like that, my little Bluetooth speaker. So you guys will be able to hear me, everything, see me, everything will be cool and on the 4.99 tier that's where the sexually explicit stuff we're going to be having a new spread called sex lies and scandals you know but we're going to be getting into the dirt honey and i mean the dirt a lot of the dirt be coming out in y'all personal readings but for some of y'all that be having questions about that and like i say yeah we're going to be getting into all of it we're going to be calling in and y'all can drop y'all this and we we're going to be doing all type of things except for on the 4.99 tier that is going to give you access where your readings will be a call-in reading, okay? So the difference between the one ninety nine and the four ninety nine, the one ninety nine is where I'm just going to be on live and I'm going to be going through the chat. You know, y'all drop y'all question. I'm gonna pick at random and you're gonna get picked and selected like that. Basically, how I used to do on YouTube. Four ninety nine tier. You guys are gonna be able to call and you just gotta be patient and wait on the conference line. And I'm gonna take your call and you're gonna get like a ten to fifteen minute reading where you guys are gonna be on the phone with me. You guys are going to hear yourself, see yourself talking to me on the live. You're going to see the cards, and it's going to be interactive that way. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be live, and trust me, I'm going to have some real spicy discussions and topics. We're going to have some after dark, grown conversations. Oh, it's going to be live. It's going to be lit. So y'all just um stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for all the support that you guys been giving me because it's been pushing me to 
take this to the next level and I feel like we gonna have now I feel we gonna have a good goddamn time because y'all already know I'm a mess especially if y'all follow me on the morning slide if y'all watch the video y'all already know I'm a mess y'all know we gonna get down we gonna get down we gonna get down over there in the membership yeah and I call the group to collect the gatherers <laughs> Yes, we gonna collect and we gonna gather all up. Yeah, we gonna get it all together. Okay, anyway, let me, let me get it. Let me get it. Okay. So if anyone wants to book a personal private reading, y'all already know if y'all new to the page, this is what you need to do. Click the about tab. All of my links are there. You'll find a link to the Patreon. You'll find my booking link. This is Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it's Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. What you need to do is book and then link, okay? Book and then link. You'll see my Instagram link that's directly under the booking link. Once you book your reading, send me a message on Instagram so that we can connect and have the video chat reading on Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram and prefer not to use your Instagram, Instagram, which is understandable, you can um, link up with me on Google Hangouts, okay? It's an easy app to download after we do the reading. If you don't want to keep it, you can delete it, all right? Just use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, that is scorpionreds at gmail.com, okay? Now, if you do not feel comfortable with getting, you know, on video, you know, FaceTime with me to do the um, reading, there's an add-on. That you can use it's called a video recap and private upload so that ten dollar add-on you have to purchase it with your reading okay what you have what you can do with that if you want me to record the whole video experience of your private reading if we are having a video chat reading if you want me to record the whole reading and upload it to YouTube for you so you can watch it back you can put that ten dollar add on for that so I can record you know your experience with me and your reading okay and also like I said if you do not want to get on camera and if you just want to send me your question make sure whichever platform that you choose have an instagram or google hangouts only send me what you want to know only send me the question of what you want to know okay and don't tell me the situation surrounding the issue while you're asking that question because i don't want you to say well i just told you that okay so make sure that you only send me the question directly related to what you want to know okay so we can really see what spirit has to say and, you know, just go from there. All right. So um, if you guys want to support the page and shout out to everyone once again who has been supporting the page and helping us grow here. Um, if you want to support the page, my Amazon wish list as well as my um, PayPal is in there. And shout out to all of you guys that's been um, sending love and light back to the page. Um, you know, when these videos give you guys clarification and you know, it's been helping y'all that, you know, you guys just been sending so much love to me and and it's just been a blessing to me and my family and I really, really thank y'all. And like I said, it's it's been pushing me to take this to the next level and um, I couldn't do none of this without y'all positive energy and y'all love and uh, especially my Leos. Y'all were the first <laughs> side that ever hit a 1K Ever. like I think you guys were my first video ever to hit 1k so I have a special love with my Leos and you guys I mean I've seen you guys go through the storm from when I started in 2018 to now where y'all just like really standing tall on y'all bullshit and I just want to personally let you know that I love you and I I appreciate and I respect y'all fighting y'all hustle because uh, me being a Scorpio um, is I admire y'all strength you know what I'm saying and y'all determination and when y'all want something y'all fight for that shit and y'all don't play so shout out to all my Leos I just want y'all to know that Scorpion Reds loves 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 you baby Shout out to all my Leos. Let's get into the reading. Enough of all this mushy shit, okay? Mm, learn how to get y'all a little love. <laughs> and again, a little smooth and loving. <laughs> okay, here we Father, thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here with my Leos. You know, I had to express my love, and my Leos want to express our love to you, Father God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you so much for seeing us through. Thank you for showing us our abundance and our self worth. And just how magical we are within ourselves. Father God, you know, we never knew that we are like walking magic. That we are kings. We are empresses. We are high priestess. You know, we are, you know, magicians in our own fright. Like deep inside of us. And like once we learn the true definition and the true beauty of ourself, you know, 
sometimes surviving a storm, it, it, it makes you look in the mirror at yourself a different way with a different respect for yourself, Father God. And um, we feel magical. We feel mystical. We feel like we've completely revised our whole environment, even the person that we look at in the mirror. We love this new person. This we listen, this person, this person here, yeah. Daniel son, that's the one. <laughs> Daniel son, that's the one. That one got a mean swivel. <laughs> oh, he got a mean swivel. Listen. Mm-mm. Thank us. <laughs> Thank you. Because, Father God, we are sure learning how to shake, rattle, and roll. And we don't bend and we don't fold for nobody, Father God. And we thank you abundantly for all of our blessings, Father God. We thank you for all of the lessons because everything happens for a reason. And some things is forever, but some are just for a season. So, Father, thank you for continuously being by our side, holding our hand, and pulling us <laughs> when we need to go. <laughs> Making us walk our path, okay? Our life path, our life journey, our life's destiny. Thank you so much for bringing us here. Thank you for taking us so far. And thank you so much for just showing us the bright horizons that we have ahead of us. Like, oh my gosh, it's like we got so much to do and so much. And, it, and it's not even that we ain't got a little bit of time. We got so much time. We got so much to explore. We got so much to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, we about to conquer. We about to do it all one thing at a time, Father God. Thank you so much for our determination. Thank you so much for the self-love. Thank you so much for the abundance, Father God. Continue lifting us. Continue helping us to learn. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Please give us guidance for the Leos for the month of June. Thank you for all of the blessings that's coming soon, Father God. Take over, God. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Take over. Take off. Ow. Let's go. Let's see what we got for my videos. Amen. All right. You want to jump out like that? Uh, it says compassion. That was in the reverse, though. What the hell? <laughs> and it says compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and in others. All right. Crown chakra. Compassion. Crown chakra. Understanding. I understand. Helps with the healing of personal losses and grief. Compassion. Listen to the song in the background. Don't tell me that it's not enough. Our time is up. You're over us. Because I think I might do anything for you if you just let me. If you just let me, if you just let me, just let me. All right, I get it. So, okay, the number one popping off the top. All right, but shit, we solid and successful in our own. You know, it's this. Okay, let's let's deal with it. Let's deal with it. Let's deal with it. Let's deal with it. Let's keep it real with it. Leo, we coming out. Y'all already know we waving in the door, busting in the fofo. -fo. Only thing you said, Papa, don't hit me no more. Who you busting off at? <laughs> Kick in the door, raising in the fofo. -fo. All you heard was Papa, don't hit me no more. Damn, I, I somebody just getting hit with it. And I feel like this, yeah, the fool, like, yeah, boy. <laughs> Leo, what it be, yo? What it be? What it be? What it be? They ain't trying to see. This is the same fucking story every goddamn month. Chop. Okay, I'm reloading. Boom. 
so I'm sorry. Busting on. I am reloaded. Boom. All right, bitch. So it says compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and in others. All right. So someone needs to realize that. And I don't think that they are being that compassionate. This has been an ongoing story with Leo. <clears throat> All right. Leo was doing wrong. Leo was cheating. Destroyed the relationship. Got put out. Leo went <laughs> through the shit to find out that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Tried to come back. Was rejected. 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 Okay. It was rejected. Right? So Leo said, you know what? I'm tired of being rejected. Like, I fixed myself. I tried to come back humbly and try to make things better. I'm tired of getting rejected because this shit is starting to fuck with my self-esteem at this point. So I'm being forced at this time to go and do my own thing and I gotta move forward like there's nothing left in the past so as soon as Leo decided that they were better off on their own okay and all of that energy that they were putting in into constantly being rejected even though respect like I get it you know what I'm saying I would have been like that too but Now that Leo has decided, now this could be Leo or the person that Leo is dealing with. Y'all know that the energy can be reversal. So once you decided that, you know, I'm tired of being rejected, I'm good on my own. All of that energy that I'm putting into being rejected, if I put that shit into myself, goddamn, I look way better. I look way better. The pussy stay way wetter. I'm sorry, y'all know I'm inappropriate. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all not drunk in love no more. Okay? Y'all done sobered the fuck up. Y'all are self-aware. You know your value. Okay? You know your value. You said, bitch, I'm looking pretty than a motherfucker. Okay? <clears throat> I don't mind if I do. Dust myself off and brag a bit. Excuse you. Yeah, you're right. Excuse you. <laughs> not me. Excuse you. If you're offended. Yeah, that's how Leo feel. Like... I'm good now. You know what I'm saying? I, it was a hard road for them to sober up and to realize stop forcing yourself on this person. This person don't want you. Okay? It's time to take the rose-colored glasses off and sober up and just face with reality. Right? So, they did. They sobered up. Okay? Because... When Leo realized this, like, you know what? I keep coming back, coming back, coming back. But I might be being a little self-consumed because if this, if I keep coming back not knowing and, and having more of a high possibility that I'm going to be rejected, maybe I need to stop being self-consumed in my wants and think about their needs. If they're rejecting me constantly, maybe I need to listen because... Even though I'm trying to do something right by coming back and showing them that I changed, I might be fucking up their process of their healing. And that's selfish of me. That's why Leo stopped. That's why Leo stopped. They said, let me stop being a fool trying to keep reaching out and this motherfucker keep trying to bite me. It's just like, I kept reaching out Leo kept coming towards this person because their faith was God near there. They felt like, I know I changed. I know I'm going to do better this time. But they kept being rejected. So now, now, and like I said, now that was the past. Story. That's what this whole shit's been about, right? So now the one that was biting, that one's chasing. Because now Leo's not paying attention to that person no more. Leo don't want that person no more. Leo's not trying no more. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Leo 
don't care no more. Leo is focused on their self now. They're focused on their wealth now. Leo don't boss up. Leo don't became a CEO. Or they don't got a promotion at their job. They are manager now. They driving a better car. They dressing good. They go out and party. Have a good ass time. Like Leo is have a, living a pretty pink Power Ranger pussy. <laughs> Unicorn splash mountain ass. <laughs> Splendiferous ass. Empress ass life right here. Look at her. You see her fabrics? You see how she's sitting? Pretty than a bitch. Okay? And like I said, Pink Power Ranger pussy. Activate. Unite, bitch. Boom. You already know how we do. You already know how we do. We done bossed up. Y'all done got them, y'all done got them raises. Y'all done got them advancements. Y'all done get, y'all done got the tax money. Y'all done invested that shit. Y'all done sitting nice. Y'all done got y'all some crap. Y'all done listen. Y'all go ahead and brag down in the comments, ladies. Go ahead and brag. Go ahead, go ahead and brag. Go ahead. Tell them, tell them, tell them, girls. Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. I ain't drunk no more. I ain't dumb no more. This is someone that, mm-hmm. Like I said, self-love, self-aware, like, abundant, prosperity, happiness, success, longevity, and all of that by their own self. They don't need nobody. They, they, it's like when the right person comes to me, I know. My faith will move my feet there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to keep being an idiot, reaching out to someone who won't keep biting me. I'm too good on my fucking own. Like, I'm not pressed. I'm not pressed for nobody. This is someone that is enjoying the single life. This is someone who appreciates. Because, see, a lot of people, they so busy trying to be attached to someone. They don't appreciate and accept and, like, kind of immerse themselves in being single and just being alone and being able to recognize who they are. If you've always in a relationship, if you always, like... <laughs> Catering to other people or, or, or trying to worry about other people's needs. Where do you really have to do and think about yourself? Like this is a, this is someone that <laughs> single, 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 single and loving it. Giving zero fucks about nobody. <laughs> like about nobody. 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 You know, I was a fool walking out on faith before. Reaching out. I ain't reaching out no more. I ain't reaching out no more. I ain't reaching out no more. I done learned my lesson. I done learned my lesson. And the whole time, like, motherfuckers be thinking. <laughs> and another one of the big issues is, is whole time I wasn't even reaching for you. I was reaching for purity. I was reaching for something pure. I wasn't even, I wasn't even trying to holler at you. Look at the card. I wasn't even really reaching for you, though. I was grabbing the rose, babe. Chill the fuck out. I feel like <laughs> Leo been having to do that. Leo been having to check people as well. It's like... And that's another issue that's what's been going on with Leo. Because Leo is on his bachelor or on his bachelorette shit. And people are mad because Leo ain't reaching out for them no more. You know what I'm saying? Zero fucks. Like, Leo is worried about them and, and, and just... <laughs> Leo has been through so much. I'm not being no fool and jumping myself. I'm not. I'm good. This is purity. They're enjoying their purity. They're enjoying, like... Their thoughts being clear. They're enjoying... Like, like, what's that mean? I rest well every day knowing I ain't got nobody cheating on me. Like... Leo rests, rests well and skips across the universe. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're not bothered by you. Not even paying you attention and people are mad now. Because they're not reaching for them anymore. Do you understand? You add, you equal to nothing in their life. You are nothing. Okay? And if you're quash watching... I'm not if trying to offend you or anything, but I have to read what's on the table. I am not here 
I'm not here to, to, to give you falsehoods and fairy tales. And some people need to hear that that way so they can understand and stop barking at this person that's paying you no fucking attention. They ain't paying you no attention. You wasting your energy. Even if you're barking, they're still not paying you no attention. They're just looking at you like you the fucking fool. See, the thing is, y'all ever heard that saying, when two when two idiots are, are, are yelling and screaming, no one can tell who the fool is. This one started being quiet so everybody can see who the fool is. People can't pick out the crazy person if both of y'all screaming and hollering. So who's the fool in this card? Wasn't even reaching for you. Now, what Leo is reaching for, as like I said, they're pinnacle. They're pinnacle. All right? And there's a lot of financial success coming to Leo. There's a lot of financial success coming to Leo. And like I said already right here, you guys might be getting a promotion, a job offer, a business advancement. Y'all might be getting another contract. And that might be the message right there that y'all going to be receiving in the month of June. Y'all getting this new contract. Y'all getting this new business thing. I feel like it took you a little. This something you might have been working on for a big amount of time. Like this might be something that you've been working on for a minute. And it might have been... It's like it's just been seeing it seems like you've been only taking slow progressive steps, but it looks like you're finally reaching that pinnacle. You're almost there. Listen, don't sit on the horse. Stand, mount yourself on top of the horse. Talk to your horse in the air. I need you to bond with your horse. Be like, look, bitch, I'm about to stand on your back now. Don't fucking move. Okay? I swear for God, I'm going to buy you all the carrots and the hay. I'm going to get you whatever the fuck, bitch. Me and you gonna be sitting under the tree, carrots and hay and, and, and glasses of milk. We gonna be good as fuck. Just don't, bitch, don't move, okay? Pat her a little bit. I got you, look. Come on, Sheba. Come on, Sheba. I need you to chill out, okay? Stand on the horse. Grab the pinnacle. I got it. Good. Thank you, bitch. Okay? <laughs> now I'm ready to go and celebrate. And y'all, okay, now I'm ready to celebrate. <gasps> oh, well. Now I'm ready to celebrate, okay? I feel like Leo got a couple of hoes, a couple of pros, and a couple of different area goals. Oh, God. <gasps> yeah. So I can see Leo going to the bar, being a star, being who they are. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm hmm. And it might be someone that they recognize in the bar. And I might be coming over there and like, hey, you ain't called me in a little bit. I know I didn't call you. What's up, though? I'll just try to see what's up with you. Oh, no, I just got this, you know, new contract with my job. Everything, like, real good. What's, everything sweet with me. What's going on with you, sweetness? What's, I mean, what you want? What you want? Oh, uh, you know, I was, you know, just trying to chill with you. Well, you know, I'm enjoying some me time right now, like, shit. Um, yeah. Mm, I, sorry, you know, like, there was a rain on our parade. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know. Like, things seemed like it was going good with us and everything like that. And I really was emotionally fulfilled and everything. But I feel like Leo's just enjoying some me time. And it's just like, I don't really want no hoes coming raining on my parade right now. So, um, here, let me buy you a drink. Okay? Go on back over there with your girlfriends and shit. Like, I'll call you maybe I won't but um yeah it was nice talking to you though but yeah go ahead <laughs> like dead ass the conversation Leo don't give a fuck like oh my god like Leo don't give a shit Leo is emotionally fulfilled to the highest of highest high no hoes no pros no shows will be coming over here. You will not be doing no stunts and shows raining on my emotional fulfillment, okay? So, you might need to run on somewhere. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why, but, you know, hmm. Yeah, I feel like someone was at the bar enjoying itself and, like, maybe someone that they had cheated with in the past came and tried to come talk to them or some shit, try to see what's popping, and it was, like, nothing. Like, shit. Like, you do, you, you, you the reason why, um, 
to all of this drama and shit fucked up my marriage like shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would, yeah, I mean, it was my fault because I was fucking with you, clearly. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, I kind of don't want to talk to you. But it was nice seeing you, though. But go on and go fuck up somebody else fucking family because like I don't know I don't, I don't want nothing to do with you I'm good though I'm yeah, I'm good bye yeah that's what happens that's what happens that's what happens <laughs> I feel like Leo bumps into the third Leo gonna bump into the third and it's just like yeah you yeah I remember you how could I forget you yeah yeah me and you are the reason why my family got destroyed. Yeah, okay. I'm not trying to put you on the line. But I gotta tell you what's exactly on my mind, girl. Beats me right to you. I'm sorry, y'all. Tony, Tony, Tony in the back. That is you, girl. Every time. I close my eyes Always pops into my mind, girl Oh, I'm sorry, y'all not going to me With the Tony, 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 don't toast I'm sorry, y'all fucked me up right there I be right there all the time <laughs> Oh, my Hold on, I gotta turn that up one bit. Can y'all hear that? I'm sorry, I don't wanna get my video blocked. Hold on. That motherfucking goddamn Tony, Tony, Tony. If y'all can't, I am so sorry. But I had to let y'all vibe with me off of that bitch. Did they just turn on some Tony, Tony? Did they turn on Raphael Sadiq, Nick, Nick? What? Boy, just because it's you. Ah! Destiny, hold on. Y'all moving towards y'all destiny. Time is all we need. Sing it, baby. Come on. But you see the light. I love you, Deja. All your love. Your heart's off balance. That's all I ask of you. I kiss you anyway. Yes, love you anyway. <laughs> oh, I hope. Ooh, I feel like y'all love is gonna be good, bitch. Ooh, let me turn this back now, cause cause look, I'm sorry, y'all, and I'm so sorry I got so distracted on oh, y'all reading. I'm sorry when Tony, when Raphael Sadiq, Deek, Deek, when he comes on, everything stops, y'all. The show I still thought. Anyway, y'all moving towards y'all destiny, honey. And I feel like, listen, you guys gotta understand that. Leo is following their heart. They're following their heart. So I don't know if this is... I honestly, I don't feel like this is Leo the one that isn't being compassionate and being gentle with their self and forgiving and, and understanding that forgiveness will set them free. See the light in yourself and others. I feel like this is the person that was dealing with Leo that doesn't... is not able to come to this understanding and is not able to be compassionate right now because it's like leo has tried like i just told i just broke it to y'all i just broke it down to y'all everything that happened and cards is basically going through what happened and it's like leo is moving towards their destiny now it's like this whole situation was a completion for them it showed them 
I've learned a lot of things in this relationship with you. You know, I feel like our purpose with each other was to push each other towards our destiny. The end. Like, the fucking end. So, whoever this is that doesn't understand that, you have to work through that. Like, that's a personal problem. And understand that Leo is in... They don't have time to focus and worry about you and help you see the light and get your crown. I mean, get your, um, yeah, your crown and your heart chakra. They don't have time to get you to see the light and help you work on your heart. That is something that you got to go through. The same way when Leo was begging you to get you to see the light that they were trying to come back. No matter how much rain was was being poured on, on your family, like they wanted to come back home. They wanted to weather the storm with you. They still loved you. Their heart was with you. You ended it. You understand what I'm saying? You wouldn't let them. So it's it's like like listen, you have to forgive this situation and to set it free. Like you like you you have to, you know? It's not Let's go to the rebel deck. Let's go to the rebel deck. Because I don't really feel like this this energy is a, is a mixture of the person that Leo was dealing with. And Leo just not giving a fuck. It just still... Like, this whole thing is, is Leo just, like, completely unaware of this person. <laughs> like, look at Leo. Like, they, like they are unaware. Like, un... Listen unaware of you unaware like they're doing something else they're not like i just they're reaching <laughs> their pinnacles they, they're not they're being a bachelor they're being a bachelorette they're fucking hoes like you know what i'm saying this trauma bought them fulfillment you know what i'm saying those rainy days they date like it's like it's like I wouldn't even be surprised now if when it be storming, if Leo has a balcony or if they have like a nice ass window, they probably just sit in the window or on their balcony in the storm, sitting out there smoking a blunt, smoking that cigarette, drinking some Hennessy or something and just chilling in the storm and shit. Cause it's just like, I feel like they appreciate storms now. It's like everything has purpose. Everything has purpose. And... They weather the storm. They appreciate the storm. They know when it's too rough when they need to go inside. Laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? I feel like that's what Leo be doing. It's just like this whole situation. When they look back at it now, it makes them shake their head and they laugh. But they, they, they're thankful for it. Like, they have compassion. Like, they're able to see love and light in this situation. And they see... They, they, Leo sees the light. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this is that doesn't see the light, you need a good fucking cry. It says, get that ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. Whoever this is. Whoever this is. Let me move on. Stop sleeping so damn much. All right? Wake up. You're missing some cool shit. Okay? Right. <laughs> and then you need a big fucking hug. Squeeze. Wasn't I giving y'all a hug at the beginning of the video? <laughs> Brada. Brada. Let's jump into love, shall we? Let's jump into love, my friend. Okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's jump into it. Oh, come on, father. Okay, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Therapy. Clearly, I ain't got no clarity. Anyway, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. I feel like you guys are uh, like reminiscing about the playfulness and the laughter and just things like that and i feel like leo is only experiencing i feel like the person from the past whoever the person whoever that resonates with because like i said the energy could be reversed this could be ever what 
Leo. This could ever be Leo or the Cross Watchers energy. Y'all, y'all know, y'all know how to take it. Um, but um, yeah, take it how it resonates. But I feel like the type of relationships right now that Leo is experiencing is, is only playful relationships. Like I said, Leo is a, being a bachelor or a bachelorette, and they only want to like laugh and have fun and enjoy and like it's like. They just want to be with people that they can enjoy and kind of play around with. It's like they're not taking shit too seriously. Like they're only dealing with like other bachelors or bachelorettes, you know. They go out and laugh and have a good fun with each other. And they just enjoy their time with each other. And like laughter is the best healer. I feel like laughter and sex and hugs and stuff like that. And being with people that is, it, 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 uh, respect each other's space. It's like. I feel like Leo is talking to someone, but it's someone who is a bachelor or a bachelorette just like them. They 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 respect each other's space. You see what I'm saying? Oh, freedom is right there. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. You understand? See? Playfulness and freedom. They're enjoying just playing around and, and, and they're enjoying their freedom, you know? What's this one say? Ooh, passion. Ooh, the magnetic and seductive quality surround you at the present. Enjoy it. I'm trying to tell you. Leo out there getting it. They're enjoying it. They, they can be playful. They're enjoying their freedom. They're enjoying being passionate with someone. Like Leo definitely, I feel like def, mm, Leo definitely has a friend. I feel like they have a friend that they're talking to and they're enjoying being single. And it's it like if it grows into something, it'll grow. Like it's just going to be what it be. It's just going to be what it be. Like honestly, that's that's what I'm getting. Let's, let's, let's go here. Okay. No, I don't want to do Game of Thrones. I do Game of Thrones for the clarification deck. Because I keep looking at the Game of Thrones deck, but I don't want to go there. Because Game of Thrones is used specifically for certain energies. I'm getting the, yeah, baby, yeah, from this energy. I'm getting the, yeah, baby, yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm reloading. Bust it all. Bust, bust, bust it all. Ooh, finances and career growing up. Finances and career. I told you. Let me be clear. Finances and career. Ooh. No true love at the moment. Just friends. Just play pals. Just a few play pals that want to stay a while. You're loving yourself first. I told you. And you know that these people are not the one. Just a few play pals that want to stay a while. Just a few play pals that want to stay a while. Look, I know y'all going to be listening. Y'all going to be out here saying my phrases and shit. I'm like, where y'all get that from? This crazy ass bitch rich. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, y'all just, y'all enjoying. I feel like y'all just be enjoying the honeymoon phases and y'all be out. Like, y'all just, y'all are not tripping. Y'all enjoying being fucking single and just, <laughs> listen, y'all focused on y'all finances and career. Y'all not out here looking for no true love now. Y'all already, y'all, listen, y'all don't have enough of that shit. Y'all just playful. Y'all just playful. Y'all just enjoying people that like to enjoy you. And it's just not looking for nothing too serious. You know you just trying to love yourself first. And you know that these people are not people that are looking for commitment. And you're not looking for commitment. And it's like y'all are on, you're dealing with people that are on the same playing field. You want your space. You want your freedom. You don't want to be connected to nobody at the hip. You don't want that. You don't want that. And I feel like the hard part is, is that people do not understand that for some fucking reason. Especially with this male Leo. They don't understand that. Like, we just be going through little honeymoon phases. It be real hot and heavy at first, of course. But once it kind of fizzle out, I we could just kick it. it ain't gotta, we ain't got to be up under each other all the time. Like, of course it's going to be like hot and heavy and passionate and all of that shit off rip. Come on now. 
motherfucker phone up here. Because this, this shit is just irritating. Every video. Like, it's going to be passionate and all that. Va, 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 voom. And shit up off the rip. But I just feel like. Let me see. What is this, my friend? What is this? Do I spy with my naked eye? Let's see what this say about this love. Give me guidance about this love. Okay? Give me guidance before I go into what the twin flames have to say. Thank you very much. Okay. Can you give me guidance in regards to love? Give me your guidance into love. Let me see. Ooh, swan. Ooh, loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. <gasps> loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. That ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. Okay. <laughs> Get it together if you want to heal your body. Hey. Okay, let me stop. Bitch, that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. Y'all motherfuckers didn't think that Leo was going to boss up on a bitch, but boss up on the bitch. What? Okay, yeah, that motherfucker one that y'all was rejecting. Y'all hoes respecting my motherfucker now, bitch. <laughs> you respecting the motherfucker now, bitch, okay? I'm reloaded. I told you we was busting off. Rough it off. Hey, rough, rough it off. So y'all know about that DC shit. Y'all know about them groove. Woo! Sever. Pull the lever. <laughs> Sever. Pull the lever. Okay. Listen. It's a lot of darkness right here. It's a lot of darkness. Let's see what else is going on. No memories. Like, yeah, it's like. That that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. I really do feel like all of that time I feel like Leo Leo severed the, the memories of that situation in their mind like how they fought all that darkness that they went through how they had to go through all that ugliness to get to their beauty only thing they see, only thing that they know is their beauty. They know that they're a loving and loyal person. And a lot of people be mad because they won't give them, because Leo won't give them their his or her loyalty. And they, shove, they sever the situation. It's like, I am not going to dedicate myself to a situation that I am not going to be fulfilled. And I am not going to be I know I'm not going to be loyal and I'm not going to waste my beauty and my divine light in that way. So a lot of mother, like I said, I'm a lot of motherfuckers be mad. Okay. These are people that Leo been dating since they've been single. And yeah, Leo got that work. Yeah. Okay. But it's like, man, listen, if I, if I ain't going to be loyal to, to you, I'm not tripping on you like that. Here's the door. Transition. <laughs> Like, I, in, in, in regards to that past situation, because I definitely feel like someone's cross-washing, Leo has transitioned. Okay? Or if this is the Leo that the other part, the, that person is transitioned. You see what I'm saying? They're being loyal to their self. Like I told you, self-love. They're not tripping off no love. They're being loyal to their self. They're severing the memories and the aroma of that situation in the past. Or if anyone has just been getting on their nerves and just don't get it that I'm successful and I'm single on my own. I'm not tripping on no love right now. I'm just out here getting it. Here's the door. There ain't going to be no reconciliation. I keep trying to tell y'all. Stop trying to cross that bridge. It's, it's done. It's done. It's done, 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 and done. What is this saying? Confirmation. Someone's getting the chills right now. Okay? Chills. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm telling you something that y'all don't want to hear, but y'all need to hear it because some of y'all need to let go and move on. And this is what this is saying is like y'all are not trying to accept the confirmations that I think has been like, okay, the same way 
when Leo was trying to come back and be loyal and show that they had grown the ugly duckling grew up to be a swan and you kept severing and saying I don't want no memories of you here's the door I don't want to reconnect with you why are you not comprehending this you're experiencing that now the role is just reversed. So the same way Leo had to go through this to get to their light. Maybe you need to go through. You're going through the same thing. Like, you know, maybe y'all's purpose in each other's life was to push each other to y'all's true life purpose. It's not meant for y'all to reconnect. It's not meant for you to reconnect. I feel like if y'all didn't go through this, if Leo didn't do the begging and pleading and, 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 and you know, if they didn't go through that, because it was a, a de it was a defeating moment for them. It was a moment where it was like someone kicked them in their balls, like their pride was just crushed. But it helped them learn how to wipe their tears off, dust themselves off and get up and push forward. And open a new door. And that's what you need to do. You understand what I'm saying? Like, is that what you need to do? You have to do this. You see what I'm saying? I feel like this reading isn't more so for Leo. It's more so for the person that Leo is dealing with. Because it's for you to see the transition that Leo went through. And take that as a lesson and some footsteps for you to do the same. Because Leo is not letting you back in their life. Leo is not letting anyone in their life. Leo is learning how to love their self and learn how to be alone. You have to learn how to love yourself and be at one with yourself in order to attract the right person. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you're needy, when you're wanting, you're putting yourself out there to be attacked by vultures. Do you understand what I'm saying? Leo is too busy loving their self. They're just playing around. And they're like, man, when I, I will only stop when something amazing hits me. And when something amazing hits me, I'll know it. Until then, I'm not going to waste my time. And I damn sure I'm not going to waste yours because I'm not going to dim my light that way. Because that hurt people, hurt people, hurt people. And I'm not going to confess and I'm not going to be loyal to nobody that I don't want to be. And I know it's not right for me. Look, I still remember the good times we had. Listen, that's what Leo was saying to you, okay? Look, songs are speaking to me. I feel like certain songs come on on the radio that reminds Leo of you. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you, okay? Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. You know? I feel like maybe you guys have been trying to contact Leo and Leo has been ignoring you. And it's like, you know, I see you trying to contact me and I they, I feel like some of y'all are almost about to get blocked. If y'all haven't gotten blocked already, but y'all are about to get blocked. I can tell you that. Oh, um, I feel like y'all been irritating Leo. <laughs> And, like, they're annoyed by it, but I feel like certain songs and shit like that um, makes them think of the good times and things. And it's like, I feel like they be thinking, like, the next time this person try to call, maybe I should just answer the phone. I just got to think about what I got to say. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, even though I don't show it, I'm sorry how everything went between us. And it's just... How does this person feel about Leo? It's easy to just stay away right now. Good. My heart is telling me to just do it. Your beauty still moves me. I'm reminded of you constantly. Okay. I feel like this person has stopped trying to contact Leo. I feel like this per. Okay, okay. This person has now stopped trying to contact Leo. And I think Leo is like, wow, this person stopped contacting me. Good. <laughs> and I feel like Leo has went on and moved on with their life. But they're, they're, they're triggered of thoughts of you because of certain songs. Like maybe a song comes on that used to be you all song or something like that. And it's just like if I was to see her or see him again... Like, 
what would I say or you know what I'm saying like how do I express how I'm so sorry it's like it's like if Leo could say something it's like I'm so sorry about how everything happened between us but you're very important to me because I'm a better person now and even though I know it was some fucked up shit how things happen. I know you're a better person too. I see how you're growing and I'm proud of you and I hope that you're proud of me. And even though this shit ended up fucked up for us, but I feel like we're both in better places now and I regret how everything happened, but I don't regret me being in a place that I am right now in this moment. And I thank you for you not accepting me back. You not taking my shit. You not, you know what I'm saying? And making me face myself and making me grow up and be a man. And really face and look at myself for what I did to destroy. Because I took life as a game. I took shit as a game. And like, I have more respect for women. I have more respect for myself. And I... You know, even though it's fucked up, but I got to thank you for that. And even though we had our moments where it's like, you know, we fussing and fighting and on both ends, like, I couldn't accept you back and stuff because I knew what you were going through because that's what I was going through. And it's not that I'm... I'm was or trying to make you go through what you put me through I know how it benefited me you know I know how it benefited me and I thank you for not taking me back I thank you for keep shutting that door on my face I thank you for that that was meant to happen it was meant to happen we're not meant to be back together we had a purpose in each other's life and I love you for that and I will never forget you and I will always love you we're not in love with each other but I will always love you you will always be a big part of my life of who made me a man you know what I'm saying so you know that's what he would say because I need you guys to understand like the divine purpose. The divine purpose. Release each other and give each other the chance. Go through that door so you can love again. You made each other perfect for the perfect person that God made for you. You know? Yeah. So, I don't even think I need to pull any more fucking cards, honestly. I really think that that concludes the fucking reading. Embrace your freedom. Get the passion back in your life. Go out and play. Go through that door so you, you can experience life and see what life has to offer you, what love has to offer you again. Stop sleeping so damn much. You need a big fucking hug. And you need a good cry. And laugh. Understanding the divine purpose for what God was trying to teach you. You pushed him and he pushed you for a reason. Not because he didn't love you, but because he did love you. You understand? This reading wasn't for you, it was for him. Or vice versa. So this has been y'all's reading. This has been y'all's reading. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I can't do y'all like that. I can't do y'all dirt like that. Give me one last word of guidance. Yeah. Y'all might have been dealing with a cancer. A cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. Yeah. Those cups are already spilled over. Stop looking at them.
stop looking at them. Stop looking at them. Being self-aware. Realizing that, <laughs> you know, I might not be something that you even want anymore. There's nothing there. You know what I'm saying? So, that's somebody... Going through a point of self-reflection. That's that four. That's that four cups up there as well. That's the one going through a point of self-reflection and looking at what the situation could offer you, and trying to decide if it's something that you really, really want. Like, do you really, really want something that everything that is important is already spilled out of it it's like be careful what you wish for and, 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 and pay attention to what you're asking for you know what I'm saying it's like offering yourself to something that you know is going to continuously reject you it's just like why it's like nothing there you know you need to crawl back into the sea you see the little crab? Crawl back into the sea, back into your element, and be in your place of business. You know what I'm saying? Your natural habitat. And figure out who you are and stop trying to offer yourself to a situation that don't want you or something that's not interested in you. You need to go in your own element. You need to experience the truth in you, the beauty in you. Just like this Leo had to do. They ain't pushing you away and they're not rejecting you because they're being mean. You got to know that. It's time for you to go back home. That ship has sailed. You understand? Alright, so this has been your reading. This has been Scorpion Reds. If this video resonated, click that like button. Click that share button. Hit that subscribe button. If y'all need a personal reading, y'all know what to do. The links is in the bio. In the about tab. I love you. Peace.